Welcome back to uh, Central Valley Talk. This show is called Real Estate and Home Improvement and all things you should do to uh, take care of your home, uh, keep it in good shape, get ready for the seasons and stuff like that. Later today, we're going to have some realtors on who will show us pictures of houses for sale. But my favorite part is uh, those guests that come on about the home improvement, about maintaining our home, maintaining the value, maybe keeping our costs down by by doing the right thing in advance. We've asked an expert to come on, Doug Biggerstaff from Art Douglas Plumbing. Welcome, Doug. Hey, how you doing? It is a crazy season, isn't it? It's been an especially wet and crazy season. As a plumber, what kind of things have you been being hit with lately? Well, a lot of um, backed up drains, a lot mm. of backed up area drains. And one thing we found with this last, uh, last batch of storms is people haven't been keep up keeping their rain gutters. Yeah. And that's causing, they think they got a leak in the wall or they think that, you know, the plumbing's leaking and we're going out. It's actually because the drain is plugged on the mm -hmm. rain gutter and it's coming through the wall. Go oh, through the wall. So the water's being held up there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And just more and more added to it every day. Right. And then we've also had some jobs uh, um, where the trees have gotten movement mm -hmm. because the ground is so soaked. The whole base is like... And, and the tree will shift one way or another and the roots, because they go after the water in the dry seasons... Yeah. They'll break the water main, they get into the sewer line, and this spring, I think we're going to have a lot of, people have a lot of issues. If you've had roots in the sewer line in the past, mm -hmm. this year I think it's going to be really bad. It's going to be worse, yeah. yeah. Um, anything people could do to prepare for that? Save money, I guess. Well, if you, if you know you have an issue, if you've had an issue in the past, it's, it's a good idea to have a maintenance done. Call and say, you know, we'd like our drain snake, you know, run the, the, the machine through, cut those roots out. Every year they will get bigger. So when you cut the roots out, you cut them off, but still where they grow into your fitting, mm. that root gets bigger and starts to separate your pipe. It's bigger and bigger. Yeah, too. and this year I really feel like the trees are going to take off. Just at my own house, the, the flowers, the bushes, the trees have started to take off, and it's not even warm yet. Yeah, spring has sprung. Yeah. I, I think that a certain time of year, you guys are going to get really, really, really busy. Yes. Uh, as soon as people start turning the air conditioner on, they don't come on. Yeah, we're coming into April. Uh, so April and the first couple of weeks of May is really the time to get your air conditioner yeah, serviced. I was say, so maybe now's the time to get like somebody to look at your, your sewer line for the roots and service your air conditioner before you guys get and, busy. And we can also check for leaks. We yeah. can put a pressure gauge on and make sure your water main and or a lot of houses have water meters. Mm -hmm. If you think you have a leak, you can go out and look at your water meter. There's a little uh, triangle on there. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have any water on and that's spinning, Water's leaking somewhere. So shut off everything, all the water. Shut off all the water in your house. Your meter, Make yeah. sure that, you know you don't have anything running. Take a look at your meter, and there's a flow meter on there, and that will be spinning. If that's spinning, then water's escaping the system. Going somewhere. Yeah. Now, uh, a lot of people wait until it's an emergency. Right. Almost everybody, I'd imagine. Well, you don't know what you don't know. Right. And a lot of people think everything's going to be fine, and then the first date hits 100 degrees, something, yeah. something breaks. And a lot of the electronics, a lot of the power of the unit, can be checked with its amperages and its and its amp draws, but um, one thing that we find, uh, we were talking earlier about, you know, we just changed the time, mm -hmm. and they really is a big push to to change the batteries in your smoke detectors, mm -hmm. um, change the batteries in your thermostat. Most houses have a thermostat that has batteries in it, and every every spring people call and say my. My unit's dead. It doesn't work. It was just the batteries. The battery, yeah. The batteries in the yeah. thermostat. So every time we set the time back, just when you, I would say in my, in my, what I would recommend is when you spring forward, mm -hmm. that's the time to do it. You can do it once a year. Yeah. By the way, because of uh, Doug Bigger staff, I uh, <laughs> changed my filter on my air condition. And, every month. And this is a dust magnet. I don't know why I get so much dust here. But I, every time I change it, I can't believe, and I say, man, I used to go a year or something and not even worry about it, but well, every month. It's the construction, it's it's the traffic. Fresno's grown considerably. Uh, we're in a bowl. Mm -hmm. So you know all the storms, all of a sudden, you can see the mountains all the way around us. Well, right. come come June, into June, you won't be able to see those mountains. Right. And it's going to be the dust, the debris, and that works its way into your house and works its way into your filter and your air conditioner and your coil. If it gets into the coil, that causes your power bill to go oh, the dust is in yeah the floor. and I then see. you're paying pg &E more than what you need yeah. to so uh should somebody have you come once a year to look at the air condition yeah i would recommend there, there's you can come you know a lot of places we a lot of us do spring and fall um generally when we come out your house we'll check both sides when we're there mm -hmm. so if you you know a lot of people here have what's called a package unit it's on the roof 
and we'll chuck the whole thing out, uh, you know, for one visit. Um, you don't necessarily have to do, you know, the heater in the fall and yeah. the and the air conditioner in the spring if you know what you're doing. Uh, is gas on the way out? Gas appliances? You know, they here in the valley, gas is out. Yeah. Uh, you, if you have a, a gas-fired furnace and it needs to be replaced, uh, it's going to have to be electric. They won't let you get another. They won't let you. Why you is can't that? Get I, I, I read they're, a lot. They're, I didn't know. they're pushing the electric, you know, uh, power for everything. You know, mm-hmm. not just air conditioners, cars, and, and everything. I'm just not sure if if, if that's not going to create more problems with the grid. Yeah, I don't know if it's a pollute pollutant thing. I don't know why they're asking us to do they, that. They think it's cleaner, but you know, that's debatable. That's a three-hour show. Yeah, that's debatable. <laughs> we don't have time for that, Doug, but. Yeah, I just had never really heard anybody say, this is why we're getting rid of the gas. But it seems like gas is a little more expensive now than electricity. Na- natural gas, and, and um, in my opinion, is the most effective. Uh, if you've ever had electric heat, it just doesn't have that exactly. initial heat. Right. Um, and what you have is some areas where you can't get gas, they have what's called a heat pump, mm-hmm. which a heat pump works backwards in the, in the winter, mm-hmm. so it draws heat from the outside where an air conditioner puts, draws heat out of the house. Out of the house. But in order to, for this to work right, they have to put electric heat strips mm-hmm. to boost the heat in the house. And, and in my opinion, I'm, you know, I'm uh, older and I like the gas heat myself. Like the, yeah, yeah, I like to be able to turn it on and in 10 minutes good, it's 70 yeah. degrees. <laughs> but now, um, I don't know, they want us to get electric cars and, but, and uh, electric appliances, but this summer they're gonna be saying, we're short on electricity, we're gonna have to have blackouts. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's and and really pushing so much electric appliances and electric heating and is is really going to make it. It's going to yeah, it's going to be a tough year. The infrastructure yeah. needs to be improved. Yeah, it does. Um, so, Art, if people are watching right now, uh, what would you suggest they be doing? Calling you and uh, scheduling yeah. a service. Give us a call. We'll come out and check your system out. Uh, if you've had drain problems in the past, you know you have roots in your line. Probably a good idea this year to do a little preventative maintenance and snake that out before they get to the point that it can't be cleared and has to be dug up and repaired. And one thing I didn't realize who we were talking today is my air condition doesn't have to go out to cost me more money. If it's dusty in there on the coil. If it's dirty, if the motors are getting ready to go out, they're gonna draw more power. Okay. And you know, that's that we can tell by checking your system out and putting a meter on there that we can identify a lot of future problems. Yeah. So you're not calling when it's 104, it's yeah. broken and you know it's three days before anybody yeah. can come out. I can tell you, you call Doug Bigger staff now or you can call them when your thing goes out and you'll be three or four days without. But actually, I've called on an emergency. You guys get out there pretty good. We try to, we, we really do. We, we strive for same day service. But when we get the heat like we can in the valley here, yeah. it's it just there's only so many hours in a day, and and sometimes you just can't keep up, and yeah. it's it's everyone, it's not just us, it's yeah. it can you could be backed up, and it's some sometime one year we were backed up for like five days, oh boy. but it was ninety days of a hundred plus. Yep. Yeah. You know, so and we've been seeing that extreme weather. Uh, we're out of time, Doug. I could talk to you for hours. <laughs> Any last thoughts for our viewers? Just everybody stay safe out there and. Watch out on these roads. Yeah. They're wet and slippery and coming yeah. apart. And if you need anything, give us a holler. We'll take good care of you. There you go. By the way, artdouglasplumbing.com. There's a lot on there. Uh, but you can also call 291-7230, area code 559-291-7230. We'll be back with more Home Improvement Show right after this.